Plastic surgeon took a large amount of subcutaneous fat out of lower face, above jawline. Face is falling. What can be done? I have been on here before, but my face is rapidly getting worse. Had facelift in 2012 and revision by the same guy in February of 2014 due to some bulging on left cheek. He took it upon himself to remove a large amount of subcutaneous fat out of my face, above my jawline. Since then, my face has become sunken and the cheeks I once had are at the bottom of my face. I have been for several consults, but I'm getting conflicting opinions. Thanks. Thank you for your question. You've submitted numerous photos and you state in your question that you underwent facelifting surgery in 2012. And then you had revision surgery done in February of 2014, where as you described, the doctor uh, performed uh, above the jawline um, uh, aggressive liposculpture uh, to address some bulging um, in, the, in the area. And now you feel like your face is sagging and, uh, and, and not, it's not looking uh, as good as you'd like. Well, I can certainly give you some perspective about your um, concerns. Um, as a, my background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon, uh, certified by the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery. I'm also an oculofacial plastic surgeon, uh, fellowship trained through the American Society of Ophthalmic Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery or oculofacial surgery. So facelifting is a very big part of my practice and, uh, and I've, been in, I've been practiced for over 20 years. So. Uh, it's important that when you are looking for additional opinions and you submit photos to understand that the limitations of the opinions is, is based on just the photos themselves and in the absence of a physical examination it is difficult to be comprehensive. But uh, it, it, it is also not my, uh, it's not my role to disparage what other people do uh, what what they were thinking when they were doing what they were doing. With that being said, I think that from one set of photos where you where you describe a quote bulge, that bulge I think that my initial impression is that bulge probably represents uh, something called a uh, herniated buccal fat. Now that is something that is uh, often seen in people as we get older that the fat that used to provide some volume and shape to the face can become atrophic or thin out and it can also push outward in the lower part of the face. It is uh, something that I do during uh, routine facelifting surgery is to reduce that buccal fat during the facelifting surgery to help improve that contour. Now it might have been your doctor's opinion that the buccal fat was maybe not as prominent but that there was fat in that area that needed suctioning. Um, in my, from my experience, suctioning above the jawline has, uh, has limitations. Uh, I don't usually do that. If I'm going to do any resection of fat, um, above the jawline or be even below the jawline, I actually don't do that much suctioning uh, during my facelifting surgery. Um, I find that I, I get better results by doing direct excision during the surgery. Um, I feel that, uh, that basically um, fat under the skin is such an important layer um, even as we get older, uh, particularly as we get older because it has a very important role metabolically and in terms of its cushioning effect uh, on the skin. So in a situation like yours, if you still feel like there's the, this volumetric loss, there are some options and you will get lots of opinions and you describe that, that you're getting conflicting opinions. There's a lot of reasons for that. We all, any, any clinician um, would, with experience, relies a lot on their own experience to make recommendations. And in my practice, I always think of what is, my, my highest values is, 
uh, has to do with safety, predictability, and, uh, and likelihood of patient satisfaction. Um, so with that being said, a lot of my colleagues may feel that what you need is some type of fat grafting. Um, I personally feel that fat grafting isn't uh, predictable enough and consistent enough to be justified to help fill out the areas that you feel are sinking in. Um, in our practice, for people who have had facelift in the past and who feel like they need volume, we perform something called a Y-lift. And this is a procedure which is not a surgery, but rather the use of uh, hyaluronic acid fillers to be placed at the structural level um, under the muscles of the face to restore definition of the jawline and the cheekbones um, in a way that actually adds structure. I find that a lot of people are very satisfied with this who have had facelifts in the past with the understanding that as we get older we don't just have sagging but we also have volume loss and so bone, muscle and fat being lost and in your situation maybe more fat being lost from a uh, surgical procedure, there is an opportunity to maybe restore some structure to try to help you look better without having to do another surgery. I think that if you, you your, your original doctor probably has some opinions about what, uh, what the changes are, and, and I'm sure these photos have been presented to the doctor. So um, g getting additional opinions, certainly, yes, it's going to be confusing, but ultimately you have to make a decision. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard of Y-Lift and whether or not this may be worth trying. I feel that it's, it's an opportunity because in the worst case scenario, unlike a surgical procedure, Y-Lift uses uh, hyaluronic acid fillers. If someone doesn't like it, we can always dissolve the filler with hyaluronidase, which makes it a fully reversible uh, procedure, essentially. Um, so I think that that's something worth exploring and learning about, just to add more confusion to the conflicting opinions you've already received. But I certainly understand your concern and distress. So um, just since you're putting these question, your question out there, I think that it is something that help from my perspective and what I do in my practice, giving you a, some uh, idea of what my first thoughts are when I see someone with deflation, whether it's surgical or age-related, um, because it's certainly not about lifting anymore for you. It's really about creating better structure. I would also add that we do also recommend uh, platelet-rich plasma to help improve skin quality and texture to help people who have lost fat and whose skin is very thin. And that's also been very successful for us. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.